Uh, Shalom, Akim. Your brother Rat is Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son in the ancient Hebrew, the last one called Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, true teachers of Yahshua Allah, that's Hebrew for Israel, and Brokadam to the hopeful elect, one of the four winds waiting to be delivered in these last days and last minutes of Babylon the Great, man. By our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai, man. Soon to come, man. Soon to cut through them clouds to deliver his elect and to destroy the wicked, man. To you other nations and Esau, the so called white man's on the top of that list. But anyway, I just want to do a quick upload. The brothers just came through the, um, the holy, high holy day, the day of atonement. Very spiritual, man. Very humble and experienced, man. And that's how brothers need to keep that in their mindsets. So every high, holi ho high holiday is a solemn assembly, man. This word solemn means serious. It's not a joke. This is life and death, man. This this whole truth that we're in is life and death. Which people are, there's got some certain groups out there that are playing with the truth, playing with the word, you know, taking it for um, a joke, not taking it seriously. They they're gonna have to um, answer for that in the day of judgment, man. Because the Lord, Lord's gonna is just about to pour out that judgment, man. He's getting ready to, you know, let all the gates of hell loose, man. Not 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 literally. Hell, like there's a hell underneath the earth, but all badness and madness and death and destruction is about to be break loose all around the four winds, especially over there in the Americas, man, for those brothers that are in the know. So, you know, just a quick upload, because, you know, you got these um these alphabet groups that want to always complain and cry about, why can't we all come together, you know, with, with great most on the apostles and that, you know. But, yeah, just like that prophecies of the nuclear destruction and the RFID chip being the mark of the beast, prophecies that, that, that you know, all Israel's not going to come together right now, man. That you're going to have scorners and scoffers, backbiters, gainsayers, you know, men that are going to spy the liberty or the truth, you know, men that are going to in, creep in unawares, man. Men that are not the, of the flock of Yahweh Shai, man. That's part of the prophecies too. So you, you, you niggas basically um, that can't get that in your heads, you're basically ignoring the ignoring the scriptures, man. You know, and um, that's going to be to your damnation if you're not a part of the elect, because we ain't all Israel is not going to come together. The Lord said, you know, to mark them that cause derision, man, and stay well clear away from them, man. You know, there's many scriptures on that, man, and then that's the way, way we gotta be, because at the end of the day, there's only one truth, one faith, one doctrine, man. That's the name of this video. I'm just gonna upload it real quick, you know. But this is um, the first scripture, the Zephaniah 3 and 9, for those who's got an issue with the Hebrew being our holy tongue and our, um, our culture, man, our language, you know. Um, Zephaniah 3 and 9 says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language, which is the last word of Dash, the Hebrew. It says that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. And just like the apostles always say, why would the Lord say that we're going to call upon his name but not reveal his name to, them, to his men. That doesn't make no sense. And why would it not be important or paramount, um, detrimental to call upon that name if, if, we, if we didn't need the names, if the names were important, man? That's the asinine, man. That's us backwards, man, to even try and complain, saying that we don't need the Hebrew, man. you got IUIC, you know, that, and then other groups, you know, changing the name, calling it different names, you know, Christ and all these Greek terms. They got issues, man. They they they're doing that because basically they're not of the flock of the Lord. And as Apostle Abad, um, you know, um, Elder Anup said in one of the sit downs I just re read recently, he said that basically the the, the, the eunuch is a bunch of heathens, man, still in the, in your mind, man. And the, the scripture about the, the name of the Lord being dreadful among the heathen that applies to you niggas too, and it's true, because you you know you don't want to accept the name. You're scared to push the name for whatever reasons, whether you sold out or you just being demons, man, you know, but you know, you're not of the Lord's flock, and that's just evident, that's why we can't come together with you niggas, man, because the scriptures say two can't walk together, let's be agreed, man, you know, and what, 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 what does unrighteousness have to do with, you know, light have to do with the darkness, man, you know, that, that's, 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 that's important, man, to understand those scriptures, man, because, you got men that lack understanding out here. They may read these scriptures and think they're the top guys in Israel, but they lack understanding, man. You know? For the most part. 
because the scripture says blesses the feet that readeth and we need to cut that word readeth it means to understand man so it's not just about you know reading off the page and not living living what you're talking about man you know which a lot of these guys do you know feigned words might look the part but really you know it's just by wolves and sheep's clothing the next scripture is first Timothy is um, actually let me go back because I had another scripture there it's Isaiah 19 verse 18 for those who say that we're going to speak the language of uh, the Hebrew again it says Isaiah 19 and 18 it says in that day shall five cities of the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts Yahweh of hosts and one um, one shall be called the city of destruction so we're going to have the language of Canaan which is the ancient Hebrew man and Canaanites was you know the language of Canaan was Hebrew the Phoenician which they call it in the Greek, it's Hebrew, man. So that's the language you're going to go back to speaking, man. There ain't going to be no other language, you know. It's the Lashon Kodash, you know, the Holy Tongue. Mm, next scripture. Yeah, this ain't going to be long. I'm just going to read one or two, three scriptures and then close out, man. So, you know. This is um, Ephesians 4, and, um, start from verse 4. It says, There is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. So you don't seem you niggas need to need to you don't seem to understand that this is a spiritual thing, man. You niggas are thinking carnally. You know, why can't why can't we come together? The one body is is um is a um is set as just that for a reason, man. Because we the Lord said we all need to speak the same thing. And that's part of the one body, man. You know, if you no know, schisms in the flesh as this is in the book of Ephesians, man. You know, um and that's how it's just going to be, you know. You got all these other guys that can't get over it. The fact that, you know, all Israel can't come together and on the comment boards and all these, and all these, um, and all these things. It's, it's, it's just the way the Lord set it out to be, man, because the Lord's not the author of confusion. You can't have one group teaching about um, the mark of the beast being the RFID chip and another group saying it's an embargo on Christianity. That's confusion, man. And you got men that can't even eat. They ain't. Well, they ain't willing to eat the whole roll. They're acting like they're eating the roll, but they ain't. They haven't eaten the whole roll. They got ninety five percent of the scriptures or the doctrine correct, but the other five percent, they they you know that's leaven basically, man. And a little leaven and leaven of the whole lump. So that's just pure corruption right there, man. The Lord ain't dealing with those kind of groups. You're either down with the get down or you're not, man. You know, there's one doctrine, man. One spirit, one body, as I just read. This is um the fifth verse. It says one Lord. And one faith, one baptism, man. You know, there's our Lord, Lord and Saviour, how shy. And it says, one power. I'm just saying, I'm messing around with the screen. It's lucky. I said, one power and Father of all. That's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And he has, he has a name. He has a Hebrew name, just like his son has a Hebrew name. Like it says in Proverbs 30 and 4, what is the Father's name and the Son's name, if thou can tell? They didn't put that there for no reason, man. It says, who is above all? It says, and, and through all, um, and in you all, and that he's only in the bottom, um, you know, the Israel of the Most High, which is the elect, because they're the only ones that's going to understand this whole full doctrine and get it, you know, 100%, you know, and push that, man, not not, not letting their emotions and feelings get involved, you know, and just like an example, I'll give you an analogy of just how, like, the one body works, just like if brothers is, you know, you're not even congregating, but it'd be, you know, my brothers might be in, in separate houses or whatever, you know, just to show you how the spirit works, brothers would be, you know, watching the same kind of programs and movies. You might speak to a brother an hour later on the phone. I've done it plenty of times, and he, the brothers just told me, yeah, he's just watched the same movie or whatever, man, and not even knowing that, you know, they, they, I give him an inkling of a sign of, yo, watch this um, new thing that's just come out or whatever, or watch this program. Brothers, it's in unison. That's the whole point of, you know, being spiritual, the whole point of being a one body. And one, one, part of that one doctrine is that the the elect are in unison man in the spirit man which you niggas don't seem to understand you ain't in unison with that spirit you niggas is outside the temple man you're profane because you're, you're coming with vain babblings man you know and your own emotional feelings man you know are blinding you and the Lord said that he'll send strong delusions on you niggas anyway that he doesn't want because the Lord's not coming to save all Israel this time he did that in Egypt with, uh, with Moses when he delivered all Israel but he ain't coming to do that this time he's only coming to deliver his elect you niggas felt to understand, man. So I think that was the last scritch anyway. So yeah, um, I'll read verse 7. 
I'll probably just close out. It says, But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Yahweh Shai. Right, man. Because this ain't a joke, man. If you're given grace, don't mean you can take the liberties, man. You know, you gotta be you gotta be um sincere in this truth, man. You gotta be in this thing for the right reasons. Like the apostles will say, um, way up the cost, man, you know. Cause this ain't no joke. As I said, this truth is life and death, and people are gonna find that out right now, man, because the Lord is about to unleash all holy hell in this place, Babylon the Great and and, and around the four winds, man. And all many of them nuclear missiles are gonna touch down and destroy Babylon the Great, man. Very soon. We're in the midst of that, man. Martial law is about to let rip. You see what's going over there in Texas. One Edomite even came out and said, one homeless guy, and said, you know, all the homeless people and and um, f and um people that have been taken in by the Salvation Ar Army to different shelters, that they're shooting, they're killing them on, on, on the low. They're whacking them on the low, man. They're killing people on sight in them shelters, man. And a majority of the masses, don't, people don't even know it, man. That's part of Esau's depopulation tactics, man. But, you know, you still got niggas out there lollygagging and messing around. But you niggas, too further, you're going to get caught up on all that, and the martial law, race rights, and all that. And all of them missiles, man. Because you ain't right, man. So anyway, I'm going to close out, man. Give all praises and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh To the elect, you know, stay strong. And until um, next time, I say Shalom, man.